Pakistan International Airlines Flight 268 is en route to Kathmandu, the capital of Nepal. On the flight deck, Captain Iftikhar Janjua is in command. He's a former officer in the Pakistani Air Force who's now a senior pilot instructor with the airline. The first officer is Hassan Akhtar, a junior pilot with the airline with almost 1,500 hours flying the Airbus A300. Flight 268 leaves its cruising altitude as it begins the approach into Kathmandu. In 1992, Kathmandu Airport doesn't use radar to track its planes. Every movement, planned or otherwise, must be accurately reported by the flight crew. The mountains surrounding Kathmandu require pilots to make what's known as a stepped approach. Pilots must descend to a series of lower altitudes at certain distances from the airport. Here it is. Watch my levels. The details of the stepped approach are laid out on a chart for the pilots. The, the crew works its way through the steps towards Kathmandu, approaching from the south. They should be touching down in about six minutes. Alpha Charlie Hotel, continue to taxiway number two. Pakistan 268, is that 10 miles? Report your level. We crossed out of 8,500. 200 now. Roger, clear for final. Report four miles, runway 02. We'll call you at four miles, Pakistan 268. Clear for final, runway 02. Runway 02. Flight 268 is now less than 10 miles from the runway. Air traffic control waits for the flight crew's next position report. Three minutes go by. Flight 268 should have reported that they've reached the next step by now. Pakistan 268 Tower. Pakistan 268, this is Tower. As the minutes tick by, air traffic controllers come to a horrifying realization. Flight 268 is missing somewhere in the Himalayas. It doesn't take much time for Kathmandu air traffic controllers to get word that PIA Flight 268 has crashed somewhere in the Himalayas. Within hours, the plane's wreckage is found on the side of a mountain. The flight was carrying more than 20 tons of fuel. And the plane is completely consumed by fire. All 167 people on board have died. 